What's up, everybody? This is Lizard from ElixirTV.com. Today, I'm going to do a very quick how-to on how I clean my atomizers. You may do it different. This is the way I do it. I mentioned it on my show a couple days ago, and a lot of people were asking about it, so I thought a, a quick video on exactly how I do it uh, might help. So it's very simple. You need basically three or two ingredients three things first of all you need some baking soda you can buy this at any grocery store and yeah arm and hammer is what I happen to have on hand so actually it's what my wife has on hand so that's what I'm using you need white vinegar I happen to have just a little bit of it um, hopefully I won't need all of it because my wife would kill me if I used all of her white vinegar. I also have a glass that I can pour the vinegar into so it's easier to work with. And I have a glass of hot water. So, let me find my atomizer. I think this is the one that I want to clean. Okay, here I have a normal 510 atomizer. I have debridged it. I don't know if you can see that, but it is debridged. You can do this with an atomizer that has, has not been debridged. It doesn't matter one way or the other. It works just fine, even if it um, still has a bridge. So what you want to do is, let me tilt this camera down. Maybe you can see what I'm doing here. Let me grab a paper towel. So there, you should be able to see that. What you want to do is get a little bit of your baking soda. And it takes just a little, little bit. Not even that much. And you want to put that directly into the atomizer and I just try to kind of scoop it in there so now we have an atomizer that is full of baking soda I take one of these medicine droppers I stole this from my grandbaby she has quite a few of them you can pick them up at Walmart for about a buck so you want to take your vinegar and just get some liquid in your dropper and just drop it in there and it'll start foaming and you just put your finger over the top of it so that it f keeps all that pressure inside the atomizer. After a couple seconds it stops foaming but you still have a lot of um, baking soda in there. So you put a couple more drops cover it up again and wait a couple seconds a couple more drops and you'll see it starts dripping out the bottom of the atomizer that's what you want because that's forcing all that gunk out the bottom of the atomizer that that chemical reaction whenever you put the the vinegar into the baking soda it produces a chemical reaction and it starts foaming and it's a really really good cleaning agent so you just keep doing this until all of the baking soda is gone out of the atomizer I normally do this over the sink because it is a little messy the first couple times but you can do it like this as long as you have something for the baking soda and vinegar to drip into, you should be all right. And you can, I don't know if you can see that foaming inside the glass, but. And then once you have all of that 
baking soda forced through the bottom of the atomizer hole. It'll stop it'll stop foaming, it'll just be clear. So once you get to that point, you want to switch to hot water. The hotter the better. I normally just hold it under the sink and just let water flow through it. But using your same dropper, just poke it in there and force water through it. And that'll make sure you get all of that leftover baking soda residue out of the atomizer. And you just do that a few times just to make sure you get it all out of there. You can dip the atomizer in the water if you want to get it off the outside. Then of course you can blow it out, blow, the, blow as much excess water, blow as much of the excess water out as you can. And then let it dry. Some people put them on their on their PVs and just very briefly fire them for a couple of seconds over and over to dry them out. I prefer not to do that because it's a lot easier to 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 pop one if you if you fire it dry too for long, for too long. So what I do is I have an exhaust fan that exhausts air out of the top of my computer. So I just set these on top of my computer on top of that fan and that makes sure that I have airflow all around the atomizer and it dries it out quicker than just sitting it you know on the counter or something or, or under a heat lamp or whatever because the airflow is what makes it dry out. But yeah that's it once it's um, dry use it as you normally would. You move this back up here it works fantastically I mean it has restored the atomizers I've cleaned to basically like new condition I have tried other messages alcohol Everclear um, I've used vodka it never really worked well for me I saw this on a forum a few days ago and I tried it and it just blew me away so hopefully this will help somebody some people out if not you know you may have your own methods that you prefer and that's good too because there's you know there's no one way to do it there's many many different ways so try them see what works for you if it works for you let me know in the comments also make sure and come check us out on elixirtv.com and i'll see you guys next time